Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use some Revit plugins features to create legend, then place the created legends on sheets, eventually repositioning the legend views and align them together uh, so that they will have a same position in all the sheets. It is a workflow actually to understand the complementary Revit plugin capabilities. Uh, having said this, however, remember this tutorial is about to highlighting some features of the plugins. You may find some other efficient workflows. I use Dyrus 1 plugin to create legend, then place the created legend on sheet by PyRevit, eventually repositioning the legend views with ArcSmarter tools. As I mentioned, I'm going to use Dyrus 1, PyRevit, ArcSmarter toolbox, and Revit 2000. 23. Without further ado, let's jump to it. The workflow includes three major steps. The very first, first one is Dirutes 1 and its component table gen, which we are going to use to create a legend. And then we are going to use PyRevit, add views to sheets to place the uh, created legend on the sheets. And then I'm going to use uh, ArcSmarter toolbox, which I'm going to use for uh, align, align the uh, placed legends uh, together, uh, which I'm going to show you how to use it. So first of all, let's imagine that in my uh, view template, I have created some filters for the walls with these colors and applied it to, to my view, as you can see. And then I have this, uh, basically this table, this legend, uh, in which I'm going to describe every single uh, wall type with the uh, with the color. So uh, let's imagine that I need to create a legend from this table and insert it somewhere in the sheet, somewhere like here. First of all, I need in, in my uh, Excel Excel file I need to uh, create a worksheet region. So I need to create. I need to select my uh, table and define a name for that. For example, I'm going to define AA for that and enter. Let's examine this. Yes, and save it. For creating the legend, as I told you before, I'm going to use Dyrus 1 and I'm going to uh, activate table gen here and add table. So here I need to import my Excel file. So this is the uh, Excel file that I have the, uh, the legend. It's going to uh, automatically, it's going to uh, recognize the, the sheets and the worksheet region because I have just, uh, I have defined just one uh, work, uh, worksheet region. So it is going to select the, uh, the very first one. And I'm going to create as a legend view. If I click or click OK here, Okay, now uh, I'm going to introduce one of the most uh, efficient features of table gen, which is auto sync here. It's gonna allow you to uh, basically connect the uh, Excel file with your legend. If you want to uh, make some changes on the, on the Excel sheets, then uh, with one click, it's gonna take all the changes into the Revit. So I'm going to uh, check this box out and apply. So if I 
close this one here and go back to my legends here. Okay, uh, actually, we it, it, it has created my, my legend, but as you can see, I don't want these ones, these uh, uh, headers to be like this. All right, and this is a kind of mess, and the outcome basically is not as neat and in apple pie order as uh, I want it to be. So uh, since it is uh, connected uh, to the Excel sheet, if I go back to my Excel and make some changes, like I wanted to actually widen the columns here, and this one as well, okay, and save that. And if I activate the table gen again and select uh, the created uh, legend and for the actions, if I select update views and activate that, uh, let me see, uh, oops, I, I have to apply that, okay. And as you can see, it is uh, updated based on my changes in the uh, in the Excel file. All right. So I'm going to change this one, the the name of this one to Oval Schedule. And close it. All right. I need to place uh, this legend into all my sheets, all right? Uh, for the very first one, uh, I'm going to, um, actually let's start with the Pi Revit. Let's uh, use the command add views to sheets. Okay, here I have to uh, select my view which in this case is a wall schedule legend. And I want this legend placed in all the uh, created sheets. So I'm going to select all of them. All right, as you can see, Pyrevit placed uh, all the uh, my legends in all the sheets. Let me open all of them. All right, but uh, I don't want the legend to be placed here actually. So first of all, I'm going to uh, place the very first one so that I can reference to. Let's imagine that I want to be like like here okay now uh, we have completed the uh, step two okay and now i need to uh, basically align all these um, legends to the to the very first one okay uh, so let's imagine that you don't have uh, six or seven sheets that you can easily uh, align them uh, align them together. But imagine you're gonna have thousands of sheets here, so it's gonna be uh, tedious work. For that reason, I'm going to open um, Arcus Motor Toolbox from which I can align all those sheets together. So let me close the other sheets. Okay. You have to go to open the, uh, the project. Uh, in the description, uh, 
you find the uh, path actually to download the Arcus Matter toolbox from their uh, from their site. Uh, however, uh, the uh, the project that you're going to um, open should be uh, the same version of your Revit. So that here I'm using Revit 2023, and I'm going to open Arc Smarter Toolbox 2023. It's gonna pop up a, a window here, so uh, you have to uh, basically enable macros for this document because it's going to use uh, Revit macros. Now it is activated. Once it is activated, you don't have to uh, change anything here. Basically, you go back to your project. And if you go to manage and macro manager, I'm going to activate that. Okay, and as you can see, I have my Arc Smarter Toolbox here. Open that and you find Align Views command. And if you choose Run, run that, okay, it is going to ask you uh, select views to align to. So we have actually placed the uh, legend in the very first uh, sheet, basically. So I'm going to uh, select that view, which is the uh, this one in the entry level. Okay. So I'm going to select that. Okay. And uh, we need to select other levels, select views to align. Okay. So I'm going to select the schedule for the other sheets to be aligned. In this case, it doesn't matter if you choose center, top left, because it's going to align basically uh, based on the center point of the, of the legend. So once you click OK, align five views. So if I go back to my Revit and uh, open the sheets, basically here you can find all the sheets uh, in which the legend view is aligned to the very first one. Yes, all of them are aligned. I hope you enjoyed this workflow. Thank you so much for watching.